welcome to my channel let's jump right into the tutorial so I'm super tired it's like 4 35 o'clock in the morning and I'm up doing my hair and makeup for this long day let's start with my hair I'm throwing some hairspray in there throwing some big sexy volumizing powder in there to kind of lift my roots up and I'm focusing more towards the crown of my head and then I just take a little bobby pin and kind of part it right down the middle because that's how I am going to end up styling and curling it. But before we curl, I'm just going to tease it up a little bit. I'm sectioning it and just kind of helping the powder volumize my roots even more. I love big hair and I think for show day, you gotta have big hair, pretty hair, voluminous hair, and that is exactly what we're going for. So let's get started with the curling. I'm just going to start from the bottom up so I, that's the way I parted it and I am using a 32 millimeter curling wand by Numi. Love these curling wands. They're super quick to heat up and they just work really really nice. They curl my hair which I do have problems curling my hair since it's like straight as a board but as you can see I curled it, let it loose into my hand and then I'm just taking a bobby pin and clipping it in and letting them cool that way. And I'm just repeating this step over and over again until I get through my whole head. I do want to mention that I show you guys how I end up curling my hair in this video, but I don't show you guys me like taking it apart. I actually left my hair up in these curls till I got to the convention center just because I wanted the curls to last the longest since I know that it was going to be a long day and as many of you do know if you have done a bikini competition before you have two shows you have the morning show and the night show so I needed to make sure that my hair was going to last that's why I just kind of left all my curls in until I got there and I took them out like right before I walked out on stage finished curling my whole head, topping it off with hairspray, and now you can see I am kind of color matching myself to my tan. And I went with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Formula. You do want to use a matte formula when going on stage because that just helps with the lights. There's going to be super bright lights, so that's a good tip for you guys to know matte foundation is key. You can see that I did the swatches, I went with coconut shade, and now I'm putting on some primer. I'm putting extra primer on just so I know that my makeup is going to last. Now moving on to brows, just brushing my brows and going into the brow pomade where I'm just lining. I'm doing my everyday pretty much normal brow routine here. Let's get started on the eyes. I'm just taking a transition shade, applying that in my transition area, and I'm slowly building that up into a warmer shade. I'm going for more of a smoky type look. So the key to that is just to make sure that you are building it up slowly instead of just throwing like a dark brown shadow or black shadow straight on there. And then on my lid, I am just cleaning it up with some concealer. This is where I place the white shadow. It's a white matte shadow and I'm doing that in the inner part of my eyelid and I'm going to smoke out the outer part. And as you can see here, this is where I start to smoke out that area. I go in with more of like a medium brownish color, then I start building it up to the 
dark brown and then I go in with a matte brown or I'm sorry a matte black shade all the shadows that I've used so far are all mattes I go very minimal on these shimmer shades um, I do a little bit of shimmer on my brow bone which you guys will see later on but highlighting and all that with shimmer I do very minimally because I know it's not flattering under bright light so that's another good tip to keep in mind and as you can see here I am just slowly building up that outer crease and just keeping the smoky look alive and a lot of blending when it comes to the smoky looks a lot of blending guys And now I'm just blending out the lower lash line. I'm using the matte black shade and then I'm going to blend below that with more of the medium brown shade. And as for stage makeup goes, you want something that looks a little bit more dramatic on the dramatic side because with all those lights that are going to be on you, you don't want to look washed out. You want to make sure that you do have the makeup that matches the body as well. Now you can see I'm just winging out the liner. Got to make sure that wing is right. Moving on to the foundation. As you can see right here, I'm just color correcting with a salmon shade. Got to get those dark circles right and concealing at the moment as well. Now I'm moving on to the foundation. As you can see, this is a foundation color that I went with. And I did make sure when I got my spray tan done that I requested not to get my face done at all. Reason being because I know the spray tan can look a little weird on the face, so I made sure that I can, I can honestly just match my body to the foundation that I chose, and it ended up working out perfectly. And um, it can kind of throw off like the spray tan on the face if you do put a foundation over it. It can like li literally mess up the tan if it's not done a certain way. So I just went without, and I do make sure that my face makeup is. A shade or two lighter than my body because you don't want that dark foundation on the face and it literally will look a little thrown off if you went with the same shade so I made sure that I was like a shade lighter highlighting does help as you can see and yes I did make that face because I was a little weirded out with how crazy I looked <laughs> Now for highlighting. So this shade, I can't remember exactly what shade it was, but it was very close to my regular skin tone shade, if that helps any. So uh, that's what I went with, and I'm just highlighting underneath my eyes and bringing it down a little bit more than usual just because I wanted that super dramatic highlighted effect going down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then you'll see I take my damp beauty blender and I will blend all of that out. And then here I'm taking the banana shade setting powder from Ulta Beauty and I'm setting my under eye with that and I'm setting all the highlighted areas with that as well. Then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. It was the one that was very similar to the foundation and I set my whole face with that. Made sure that I got my neck, got my forehead, got everything because I do not want that liquid to move around. And then moving on to bronzer. So I'm contouring and I'm going in on the contour. I'm starting off light and I'm going to slowly build up the contour so it has a good shadow cast when it's under the bright lights. Contouring does also help warm up the face back up again after all that extra highlighting that we did. And then I'm contouring down the nose and with this I'm just using a cream contour 
doing the nose and then I take my finger and use a very light shimmer shade, nothing too dramatic, and then I set the cream contour with a powdered contour just so that doesn't shift and move around as well. Of course we have to bake. You gotta bake, make sure that none of that moves around, none of it shifts, and baking also helps clean up any of the harsh contour lines where you can see I'm cleaning up my nose. I also clean up the hollow of my cheek, and then I do brighten up my chin just a little bit just so the highlight kind of shifts evenly throughout my whole face. And then I'm prepping my lashes to apply on some false lashes. I go for more of a bolder voluminous lash look because that is what you're going to want for stage makeup and this is where I do put a little bit of the shimmer on my brow bone. Now I'm just tight lining my upper waterline as well as my lower waterline. I really don't like tight lining my lower waterline with black but we got to do it for the more dramatic eye look and then I go in with the lipstick. And as for lipstick, you're going to want to do something that is seen. You don't want to do like a nude or a pinky nude color, something very light because it will wash your lips out under those lights. Now I'm just cleaning up the baking and just brushing that off with a duo fiber brush. And then we're going to get started with just a little bit of highlighting. So you can see I put a little, little bit on the tip of my nose, on the upper part of my bridge, and then I put a little bit on my inner corners. And then as you can see, I sweep a little bit with my finger on the higher parts of my cheekbones. And this is all I do for highlighting, just enough and that is it. And then you can see here I'm just binding my lashes with my false lashes and then putting the mascara on my bottom lashes. And there is the final look, you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and here's some pictures from the show, just so you guys can see the full package. Thanks for watching. Bye.